I'm starting the record. Hello, kings, queens, nerds, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome to another uh, video. Now, I was requested by you guys, CJ particularly, has requested me to do a uh, The Dark Truth About Dogs video. And she, he, uh, or she, I actually don't know if we are he or she, CJ. Um, but, um, it's, and they told me to do this one on, dino, on this dinosaur video she has done that's about 17 minutes long. Well, 18 minutes long, about. Basically, dinosaurs are fallen angels. There, I summed up the video. Could you let me do the video? <laughs> I haven't even seen it. It's so stupid! That's why! Okay. Anyway, let's... I have not seen this yet, so... so here we go. Well, I've had a lot of weird people comment on one of my videos. Asking me to expose dinosaurs. I hope you know they were fucking with you, right? The problem with this is that dinosaurs are not around anymore. They are believed to be animals, so if they are a danger, there's really no... Oh. Using to crusade against them because they're gone now. But I have. You don't need to crusade animals because we need them in our environment. I've done a bit of research and I've come to a very interesting conclusion. Now, I am not going to say that this conclusion is the absolute truth because it's just a theory. Now you say that you do what you say is not the truth, may not be the truth. Now you say that. Out of all the shit you said. That makes the most sense to me. I wonder if that has something to do with me. After the whole beaver situation. What? Remember the whole beaver articles? Yeah. That she was sending? Yeah. I wonder if it was after that situation. That she admitted, hey, she may not be fully be right. Yeah. One of the descendants of dinosaurs is the Komodo dragon. These things are still around today. Yes, Komodo dragons. This is where... Okay. I think I remember something like this. Okay, Komodo dragons. Yes, they are dangerous, but there's a reason why we keep them away from society. There actually is a thing that we have to keep them away because they're so dangerous. That... Yeah. And I believe it's illegal to own them in the United States without a license. It's illegal to own them in general. No, you can own some of them in, in different countries, but it's not a common thing. No. Now, one thing she doesn't mention here is, here's this, there are tons of animals that are descendants from dinosaurs, including chickens. Chickens are descendants of the T-Rex. People oh, don't... Now we got a bad chicken. They're very dangerous, go, disgusting, no ugly. They, just like alligators, which is another cousin of the dinosaur, Komodo dragons will swallow anything that moves. You know, like if you're at, like see if you're at a... They don't necessarily swallow anything that moves. They don't even have teeth, do they? Komodo dragons? Yeah. Yeah, but again, they are dangerous. They usually hunt smaller prey. Well, so are like corn toads and stuff like that in Arizona. They're deadly and dangerous, and so are the frogs out there. You don't see me complaining about it, though. Yeah. There's a lot of deadly things in Arizona. Yeah, they are. That's why she's afraid of the desert so much. Yeah, there's like uh, spiders in Arizona about the size of dinner plates, so. She'd probably shite her pants if she ever went to Australia. Or, at, or in the Middle East. They got yeah, that too. <laughs> Middle East, they got spiders that are like this fucking big, and they're they sh they relieve this <laughs> excuse me they relieve this venom <laughs> that um that that burnt that melts your skin melts your flesh, and they eat the leftovers. <laughs> they just drink it up. Beach or something. 
and you might get mauled by a Komodo dragon. They're very aggressive. But note, dragon. Dragons don't exist, my friend. Dragons don't exist. I think, okay, you want to explain to her how the whole theory of dragons became to be? Oh yeah, I, 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 get, I have a theory. And that was about the whole people discovering dinosaur fossils and believing that those were quote-unquote dragons because they didn't have the tools and abilities that we have now with science. Yeah. Oh, they can hear you. The mic was going off when you were speaking. Okay. Komodo dragon. Perhaps dragons were also ancient dinosaurs. Now, this goes back to the ancient world. One example is in Mesoamerica. 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 I've never heard of a place called Mesoamerica. I have to Google this now. If see what she's saying is right. It could be a real place. Who knows? Well, hold on. I gotta type this in. Mesoamerica. Because <laughs> I think what she means is like Mesopotamia. Well, well, you know, she's not wrong. It's actually a thing. It is? Yeah. It's actually in Mexico. Somewhere around Mex oh, Mexico. Um, Mesoamerica. So, um, that's something... That's something... That's an actual thing. Okay. At least she's right about something. Well, we're not denying that she's wrong. It's just she misinterprets information and then spreads however she interprets that information in an extremely negative way. To where she's basically falsifying information about things. Well, but she says in Mesoamerica, but it's just a region of a. Uh, it's just a region of region and culture area. Aztecs, so it's not an etc. actual place; it's a region. Yeah. Okay. Uh, had this feathered serpent dragon god. And I think its name is pronounced Quetzalcoatl or Kukulkan. And this dragon was. You know, most of these were hand drawn by people, right? So, for, so, uh, yeah, again, they're photograph evidence, Derek. Like she says that they worship these, but I don't see well, no. Um, the Chinese worship dragons as if they were kings. Yeah, and they, uh, fear them as well. like, for example, um, any, mo some em uh, emperor actually claimed that he was a descendant of a dragon and he became emperor. Flat Earth. <laughs> hey, Ben. Ben, ben Weber isn't here. He stopped making videos. We win. <laughs> gonna take the heat. You gotta step out of the kitchen. He'd probably tell you to get back in there. <laughs> you know. You hear me? But that's your job. Yeah, I'm. I actually work in a kitchen, so. <laughs> Worship. And no, some believe that at one point, Housewife. dinosaurs lived side by side with humans. And if the dragon is... Okay, you said some believed that dinosaurs lived by side by side with humans. That has never been scientifically proven. So I'm, that's going to stop you right there. Oh, the dinosaur explain to her how the layers of Earth work. All right, I'll pull up some stuff about it. Yeah. Okay. To explain it truly, if you ever took, like, a geography class... 
uh, layers of earth um, diagram um, fossil I guess uh, uh, how do I spell fossil? Fuck. Layers of earth fossils. Uh, let's see if we can find some images. To, to explain what I'm trying to talk about. Sorry, my phone is on a wife hotspot, so that's why it's taking so long to load. Basically, okay. um, the earth has many different layers, and the layers actually can tell you how old the earth is. Yeah. The further down you go, the older the remains you see. Yeah. Now, if you were to see fossils of human beings and dinosaurs around the time, if you believe that, that dinosaurs and humans were around the same time, there should be fossil evidence of them being around the same time. Yeah. And the bones themselves and the actual remains that are there, well, they're not really bones. They're like imprints of the bones, but you can still read it and tell the age of it. Yeah. If they were around the same time, like say you did find a human fossil remain near a dinosaur one. That doesn't necessarily mean that they come from the same time frame because you need to know how to read the bones and read the age because they could come from a completely different time period but be near each other because the earth could have been disturbed. Like the layers of the earth could have been deserved, disturbed by either natural causes or man-made causes. Yeah. Did I explain that right? Yeah, that sounds like about right. So, right, just so you guys know, I studied the age of fossils and human remains and stuff like that, so I know what I'm talking about somewhat. Also, guys, I hope you don't mind. I'm eating my TV dinner. <laughs> and drinking a Mexican Coke. Yeah. <laughs> or then maybe it was on Earth, too, because it was worshipped. And just like Komodo dragons, this again. Dragon. Okay, again, not all dragons were depicted as dangerous creatures. You do realize that, right? I guess she could be misinterpreting the area in which dragons were portrayed. Because if you think about like uh, Europe, for instance, yeah. medieval time Europe, yeah, they were depicted as evil vicious creatures that were deadly. They weren't really worshipped, but if you look in like Asian culture, they were very worshipped. Yeah, they were pretty wise but creatures. they were also feared. They were feared, Just but... Just depend on the area you were in. Yeah. But I think she only thinks that they were feared. No, if you learn the history of this kind of stuff, it depends on the origin. Like, and even modern days where we depict dragons in fictional stories... Uh, sometimes dragons are depicted as companions. And they're also depicted, as she put it, evil creatures as well. But it just depends on the region and all that kind of thing. You gotta take that into consideration. Hmm. And can she take this into consideration? They weren't real. Dragons are not real. <laughs> Komodo dragons, yes, it's they're just real. the name of it. A Komodo dragon, that's just the name of it. It's not an actual... Dragon. Do you know how many lizards are named after dragons? I know, it's a lot. Like, there's this another one. Uh, a Chinese water dragon. That thing is fucking harmless. My mom, my sister used to have it as a pet. The Chinese water dragon. There's even, like, certain fish, that I believe, that are, that are named after. I and she's using, I she's always wrong. emphasizing the word dragon when she mentions the Komodo dragon. He's always emphasizing dragon. It's strange. But here's something she always fails to also interpret. If you respect the animal, if you stay calm near the animal, no matter what animal it is, it could even be a bear. If you are calm and you respect the animal, the animal will not hurt you. Yeah. So, so she's telling me that 
things like Descendant from Dragons are considered dangerous. This thing is fucking harmless. This thing eats crickets. But, no, this. What is it? It's Chinese water dragon. It's a pet my sister used to have. She thinks all animals. Just has dragon in the name. I'm gonna say it as lizards, okay? Reptiles. Does she have something against reptiles or something? I mean, I know she's religious. She must hate snakes, because you know. Here's this. I'm not gonna deny some snakes are dangerous, but also some snakes are actually quite adorable. They like being pet. I don't blame her about the snake part. I have a fear of snakes. Snakes do enjoy being petted. I know that much. If you uh, they like their snoot little. T those brush. snakes aren't all evil and mean, and a lot of them are extremely gentle creatures. It's just, I have something against them. Yeah. It's just like me and geese. Just don't go out like this to its face, or else it will bite you. Like, that's something, like... Well, no kidding! I know how to deal with snakes. That doesn't mean I like them. And, you, and you're saying because it's a descendant of dragon, maybe... Or dinosaurs. It could be dangerous. Chickens? Chickens are descendants of, okay, quote-unquote dragons. We're going to call them dinosaurs because that's basically what history, what the origin of it could have came from. You know what I mean? Yeah. Going by that theory, you want to ban chickens too. What else would you ban? Turtles? The thing is, though, she's talking about Komodo dragons. Like, if we need to ban them. They're already not allowed in certain countries. I know. And a lot of them you are allowed to own, but you need to have a license to own them. Like, you need to be, like, a special caretaker for them. Yeah. And second of all, they have a special island called Komodo Island, which where they put them there. So, yeah. Obviously, it likes to eat people and stuff. And in ancient Egypt. She thinks dragons are real. I'm starting to think that. Okay. I want to know what she's got to say about Egypt. Right now, culture. right now she has a, a picture of Sekbit. You know what we should do, Derek? We should send her our copy of Assassin's Creed Origins. We should really send that to her and be like, play this, okay? I know you're a religious nut, but play this. You know what I mean? One of the descendants of the dinosaurs known as Sobek was worshipped no dangerous animal again these alligators are dangerous animals but um we hunt alligators in this country you know that right we do hunt them and eat them for some weird reason yeah and their skins are worth a bit worth a bit so we are aware that they're we are aware they're dangerous because they're predators do you understand how the food chain works right oh but she also wants to get rid of all stallions she wants to castrate all stallions because they're all vicious and aggressive does she know that stallion means male right I think I don't think she understands that stallion and horse are the same thing. It's not connecting in her brain. A stallion is a male horse. And not all stallions are, I wanted to bring this up so bad, all stallions are not aggressive. As someone who's actually lived with horses, worked with horses, studied horses, okay? She knows just shit. <laughs> mm. Of course, they had to be worshipped too. 
Of course, people worshipped alligators back then. They worshipped anything back then. Fat cats during ancient Egypt were very spe especially sacred because of death. A lot of animals were considered sacred back then. Particularly white alligators were considered sacred back then. And they were not allowed to be killed. Same things with, um... Birds were worshipped. Certain types of birds, too, if I remember. The correctly. jackal. A certain type of jackal. There was, um... Not, all kinds of things were considered sacred and we shouldn't kill them. Sorry, I got the wrong god. People worshipped the actual sun. Huh? People worshipped actual sun yeah and the moon don't forget the moon yeah they actually worship those so they literally worshiped anything that they thought had the potential of i guess quote unquote godlyhood yeah you know what i mean also i don't think she understands that her religion is fairly new her religion is very new and there's a history to all religions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she needs to understand that people worship things because they they, th they believe that these are things that created the world. Much like Christianity did. Okay, we have dragons worshipped in Mesoamerica. And then in Egypt, we have... We had dragons worshipped in fucking China, not just Mesoamerica. We have this alligator, another descendant of a dinosaur being worshipped. Huh? I think I know what she means by Mesoamerica. Does she mean like the Aztecs and Mayans? I think so. Stuff like that? Did they worship dragons? Let's look that up. I don't recall. Col let's type in cultures that wor worship dragons. I could be wrong. go here. Come on, go to all. It's, it was pagan, I can tell you that much. Yet she doesn't believe that paganism It's called Dragon Oath. So So it's dragon orf, which is the the dragon worship term. Um, there were there were only two kingdoms in Europe that worship dragons. Um, let's see, great migration, blah blah blah. History, history, history. Wait, this is something else. This is not that. I actually have a question for her. Dragons in Western and Eastern cultures. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, dragons are specific of Chinese and medieval legends. Dragons have blah, blah, blah. Let's see. So far, it only states that... Dra uh, so, the word dragon comes from the word dract ka'anta, which means to watch. So, who knows? Maybe dragons have been watching us all along. That's what it's stating in this article. Um... Western civilization, North America, Canada, Europe think dragons are most likely things of medieval, uh, thinking of medieval dragons and not the Chinese dragon. Um, they were, let's see, spiritual, dra Chinese dragons specifically master the full powers of nature. Stuff like that. Medieval dragons, which are generally considered evil monsters common to Eastern and Western mythologies, dragons were enemies to the sun and moon and the eclipses 
And whenever eclipses occurred, it was believed dragons were responsible. Yeah, so I don't see anything about. Let's see. Um, let's see with Meso. Uh, crap. Why don't you just look up? Did Aztecs worship dragons, and then look up did Mayans worship dragons? dragons. Instead of overcomplicating it. Uh. Okay, this is actually something she actually did look up. Okay. So the picture she showed about. With the dragon, apparently that was a act, apparently a real thing. So she, I could give her that. That was something. Um, okay, period lies within blah blah blah. The v figures, they worship feathered uh, serpent deity, which was mm, apparently a Mexican religion after Koala. In the period, with the deity was known as the as the Kola. Name and his followers, and in the Maya era, let's see names from also really translate feathered hey, but serpent. It said serpent. It didn't say dragon. Yeah, I think that's yeah. It's not really a dragon. It's a feathered serpent. So it's like a snake almost. Yes. Well, she's kind of off a little bit, don't you think? Yeah. So. And even dragons were in ancient Egypt, too. I think she just saw it and said, Ah, oh, that looks like a dragon. Oh, that looks like dragon. Must be dragon. I think that's what she interpreted by that. But no, if she actually reads the articles that, and links to like all these photos and stuff like that, she'd realize she's saying some misinformation. Just like with the whole beaver situation, when she looked up floodings caused by beavers... On Google Images. You want to know what Google Image also showed on there? It showed after effects of hurricanes and stuff like that. And tornadoes. And she said this is caused by beavers. No, if you actually... um, What's it called? Back researched? Something like that? Yeah, if you... Backwards researched it? Yeah. Um, she'd realized that what she was saying was completely false. Yeah. So you type something like that into Google Images, they'll just fucking show you a picture of a tiger. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can you could look up anything on Google and they'll give you something else sometimes. Yeah. It's not going to be 100% perfect information. They give you the most co popular viewed version and under that search and put it there. Yeah. And the dragon extends throughout the ancient world. And if dragons and alligators are dinosaurs, then perhaps since dinosaurs would therefore be worshipped as gods, perhaps dinosaurs... We would work probably have worshipped dinosaurs as gods if they, we existed with them. I wouldn't really worship them as gods, but that's just because I'm an atheist. <laughs> Well, not today. They're extinct. I mean, if we lived around the same time as dinosaurs, yeah, we would yeah, worship we them. Yeah, we probably would worship them back if we lived during this time, but we did not. Hell, we'd be getting human sacrifices to them. That's probably what That's would happen. Dark. Huh? <laughs> That's dark. That's not a joke. People gave human sacrifices. The Mayans believed if you cut the heart out of somebody and drained their blood, that it would help keep the sun alive. Dinosaurs are fallen angels. Dinosaurs are fallen angels. Now, yeah, that's something that she said a lot. Another interesting fact that I found this book preview says dragon legends are found in nearly every culture around the globe, they have been thought to be myths. Yet mysteriously, these dragons sound a lot like other giant scaled reptiles. Oh my god, you're basing this knowledge off a book review? Insane. 
<laughs> You're basing this knowledge off a of book review! <laughs> we do realize what fiction means, right? Wait, 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 are you serious? I am not joking! Off of a book, what book? Hold on, hold on, I gotta go back. Okay, hold on. What should be like, Aragon or something? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to see if I can find the name of the book. Um, damn, it's so pixelated, I can't see. Get a better camera! It's not even a camera, you know what she's doing? She's holding her phone up to it and recording her computer screen. You do realize they have compu screen recorders you can use. And it's called... Computers, if, especially if you have, like, Windows 10, already have something that's built into it to do that. It may be crappy, but it, it does a lot better than you holding your phone to your screen. So you know, there is OBS Studios. It helps a lot. It's free! <laughs> Mysteriously, these dragons sound a lot like other giant scaled reptiles. Dinosaurs. Could they be one and the same? No, because dinosaurs existed. Dragons did not. If they were dragons, we'd have found fossil evidence of it. What? Dinosaurs. Dragons aren't real. I think she thinks dragons are real. And then in this science article, it says ancient people may have discovered dinosaur fossils and understandably misinterpreted them as remains of dragons. Okay, so this here further shows that Dinosaurs and dragons were probably interchangeable. No, that that statement that you just read off the bottom lines of a of a article you haven't even bothered to click on, basically by itself says, dragons aren't dinosaurs. My God, she literally took a search. I know she does this. She doesn't actually read the article. She just reads the titles. No. Like the little no, she rearranged what it actually said to her to fit her views. I know. Go find the article and open it. Okay, did dragons so come from where did she can't seem to do is open an article. Where did dragons come from? Oh my god, I can't believe she That, I found I found it. Where did dragons come from? Science Smithsonian. This is the exact one. And here's this. It actually pulls up a different thing every time. So. So, dinosaurs. This is the thing she went back on. Ancient people believe that they discovered the dinosaur fossils and understandably misinterpreted them as the remains of dragons. Chang Ku, a Chinese historian from the 4th century BC, dis mislabeled the fossils from the Sichuan province, took a, took a look at the fossilized uh, Stegosaurus, for example, and might see why. The giant breasted average 30 feet in length, and the, the, type, the typical 14 feet tall were consider uh, armored plates and the spikes for defense. Yeah, see they see people misinterpreted all the time and it doesn't mean that dragons existed. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Nile crocodiles have had more expensive range of they also go on to other things not just not just dinosaurs, they go on crocodiles, the gona, whatever that is. And then there's whales, and then it goes on the concept of the human brain. So... Read your damn articles, woman. You know, you know why I don't think she reads the articles? And why? Because I don't think she can read them well. And I legitimately mean that. I mean that I think she cannot read them well. Dragons are also mentioned yeah. in the Bible, and I also too. believe she's too afraid to click on the articles and find something that will cause She just brought the Bible up. Said. Well, of course, Derek. She's a religious nut. Everything is Jesus. 
She said that dragons were... Now, here's this. She's not wrong. Dragons were put into the Bible. They were? Oh yeah. Oh, my God. But they weren't an actual thing they believed in. No, in Revelation 12 and Revelation 13, for example, there are a few more other verses, but I'm just going to use these two as an example. Where it says... The woman in the dragon. Uh, you do realize the dragon was a symbol, right? Not an actual dragon, right? It was a symbol, supposed to symbolize Satan. Right? The Bible? Yeah. Yeah, because Satan could, like, shapeshift or something like that, right? Satan, Satan was always depicted as the beast, the snake, and stuff like that. He was always depicted as something. And they always used metaphors to describe him. The beast out of the sea is the dragon. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea. And part of Revelation was written during the Roman Empire. And this could perhaps be evidence that dragons did live on Earth with humans. The Bible is not fucking proof! Oh my god! But she's not going to learn because she literally takes it as as that's the, the truth to everyone. She doesn't seem to realize that, one, there's other religions. How are you going to interpret your findings to other religious people if they don't believe in your God? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then there's people who don't believe in God, such as me. And you're just claiming that as fact, and it's not fact. Not fact to everyone, I should say. It may be fact to her, but the thing is, though, what she point out is that the Book of Revelations was written around Roman times. Hmm? She says the Book of Revelations was written around Roman times. Okay. I don't understand any of that. Think about that. It was written around Roman times. Around the times where people didn't understand. Scientific things. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Yeah. Okay. So, and you gotta remember that the Romans also believed in many gods long before they believed in Christianity. And the Bible says that people believed in God long before all that. So tell me. That right there just says a lot about your logic. This doesn't taste very good. What, the sparkling water? Yeah, I don't like the grapefruit one. No. Uh -huh. But that's basically what the Bible is saying. No one in all of world history believed there were dinosaurs before 1842. Everyone believed in historical evidence of dragons. So, at the point, they may have found fossils earlier on, or they were already aware of the fossils being associated with dragons, or maybe that they knew that these so-called dinosaurs were dragons. And later on, the media tried to say that... They oh, the media! You blame the media! Now, I can't, I know, I won't deny that media does sometimes make shit up. Mostly about disasters, not about history. Depends. Depends, yes. Depends. Now, she thinks that media changes, now she's yes. starting to state that the media changed the, changed the idea of dragons to dinosaurs. No, science did. They disprove dragons and put dinosaurs in its place. Scientists question, hey, is this really what it is? Studied what that is. Had a hypothesis. Exercised their... They also put... They also did that... You know, you know how... Sorry, there is a science. 
based on reconstructing bone structure or with the, what it would look like if it had muscles and skin and all that stuff they did that with dinosaurs and that's why we have what we think what dinosaurs look like today yeah and it's not even a clear interpretation of what dinosaurs really look like because we don't really know what they look like it's it's like forensics for instance because you know i studied forensics and bones and stuff mm -hmm. it's like when you get a skeletal remains of a human being and then you have the forensic reconstructioner or reconstructionist come in and reconstruct the face. They're guessing what the person would look like. They're using like the stuff that they have there and their knowledge of tissue depth and reading the bones to try and interpret like what the person's weight must have been and things like that. But like say things like your nose and your ears and your eye shape and your lips, you can't determine that due to by just bones you can't figure that out so you gotta guess that yeah but yeah what we do is uh, with dinosaurs is basically the same thing it's just the closest thing that we can interpret to it yeah so they were called dinosaurs to they tell you a lot people the dragon they really thing. do they also tell you how Maybe it's an attempt to discredit the Bible. I don't know, but we'll see here. Okay, you think, well, let me guess. You think the media is after the Bible? I mean, I guess some media could be out to get the Bible. You know what I mean? Yeah, I want to know. I don't all media is. I think most media doesn't even bring in religion into anything. Like, they should to get their message across to all platforms instead of just relying on Bible. Yeah, so there's a reason why we don't bring in religion to science. Because it's not credible. It doesn't prove anything. There's no scientific evidence that backs this, the Bible. Now... Here's more evidence. Dragon is the common name that refers to a variety of gigantic reptiles reported by people of ancient times. Dragons were also a common theme in mythology. The word comes from the Greek meaning a huge serpent of huge size. Although dragon legends are often dismissed as a myth today, Many of these stories may have historical basis in sightings of recent dinosaurs in countries such as England, China, Scandinavia. Do, do you realize that the people who win... Okay, here's a term. I think you've heard this phrase before. People who win wars dictate who writes history, right? You gotta understand that people would depict anything as history. Chinese people... For the Chinese, they believe that I stated this earlier that a guy stated that he was a descendant of a dragon, and he they made him emperor for that. They have no proof of that. See, you gotta love how we document things nowadays because now we have more abilities to actually find evidence to things. You know what I mean? Yeah, we can actually document stuff like that. We can actually document evidence here. But there's always going to be that weirdo. Yeah. Ben Weber. She thinks that because this article says there might have been sightings of dragons. Okay. People are going to claim a lot of fucking things. Okay? Okay. I, I want to say this right now. Way back back in the day, they actually someone thought they found a Cyclops skull. Now... Does it mean that Cyclops exists? It turns out that it was actually a descendant of fucking elephants. And not only that, but it's, it's a birth defect, not a mythical creature. That big gaping hole in the center of its skull was the trunk. Arabia, France, India, Egypt, and Arabia in each... Recount numerous dragons of variety 
types. Ancient depictions of dragons have been found that Spain more than a millennia, which often bears remarkable similarity known dinosaur species. <clears throat> Now, now, I wish I could find this article you're reading, because it doesn't seem that credible. In fact, 200 such places in Britain where dragon sightings have been reported throughout history. In his book, After the Flood, Bill Cooper lists 81 locations of the British Isles alone. Multiple terrestrial flying and sea dragons. Okay, just like the Bible, sea dragons were that dragon came out of the sea. You do realize that the Bible actually steals a lot of other religion, right? Like, for example, Noah's flood. A flood was depicted in Greek mythology too because Zeus wanted to eradicate all humans. Because he saw them as abominations. You got no, no view on that? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm busy. Can't you see what I'm doing? You're making a scarf. I am busy. <laughs> We're described I'm by these crocheting. cultures and known by various names. Many of these creatures are predatory to livestock, threatening to other industries, and therefore often target by hunters and killed. The dragons of legend are strangely like actual creatures that have lived in the past. They are much like giant reptiles which inhabited the earth long before Nyan is supposed to have appeared on earth. Dragons were generally evil and destructive. Each country had them in its mythology. And since you know why, right? Why we had dragons throughout the world, right? Through the mythology. Reason being is because we migrate. Not only that, but dinosaur fossils are all over the fucking world. They're not in one area. Why'd you pull up a dinosaur and know his art image? Dinosaurs slash dragons cause so much trouble. Perhaps this is why the Lord created the flood to drown them out. The fallen. Okay, you do realize the flood was created because he wanted to wipe out humanity, right? In the Bible, he depicted that he wanted to wipe out humanity and wanted two of every animal. He wanted two of every animal so that they could repopulate again. Noah told him to bring his wife and his three sons, sons and so on, and told them to gather up on the ark. And they floated it until the earth, until they found land again. They did that so that way he could get rid of what was wrong with humanity. That's what the Bible says. Well, that really does sound really stolen from the Greek one you just brought up. He flooded Earth because humanity was going corrupt. That was why. Coming from a guy, a Satanist, who's actually read the Bible, read it word for word, by the way, was done as a punishment by my father, and I already could t read between the lines. When angels, or the giants, you know, dinosaurs are basically giant, but, yeah. Dinosaurs are basically giant. Okay. Started the flood to get rid of them. She said dinosaurs are basically giant. Not all of them. Some of them were, woman. Some dinosaurs were giant. Some dinosaurs were really tiny. Some be we actually believe that some dinosaurs are still alive today. Well, descendants of dinosaurs. Well, there's species in the ocean, that is. Well, yeah. That's because, like, I believe it's like 80% of our ocean is undiscovered or something like that. We never know what we're going to find there. We could find freaking mermaids. Uh, unexplored. We actually uh, discovered a good portion of what species we have. No. We're actually getting... There's probably... There's, there's a lot of the ocean still unexplored. 
Well, I that's because we can't go down there. I know. We don't have the technology to. But I believe if there's a lot of it undiscovered, there's a lot more animals that we haven't discovered. But here's what we do know. We can find out things through sonar so we can see what's down there. But we can't find out different species of animals and what they do and stuff like that. You can't do that. And those sonars, sonars only go so far. We have been able to map, but we've been able to map out most of the ocean's bottom floor with that. Well, that's the ocean, not the animals. Well, if you're going to hit the bottom of the ocean, I'm pretty sure you can find animals that way. Well, I'm sure you can find animals there too, but we're never going to reach the bottom. Weird well, theory. Areas, that is. We'll get to the bottom it eventually. Also makes sense. Especially, goes back to we need to progress the more ancient world also, universe. where some theories claim that these so-called gods who are fallen angels in disguises are... Aliens or extraterrestrials. Yeah. So if dinosaurs slash dragons are extraterrestrials, you know, like maybe reptilians or draconians or something, and they had advanced aircraft, they could have, well, some of them could have left the earth to escape the flood. Wait, how can, okay, I want to know, how could anybody have escaped the earth before the, if there was a flood? There is no fucking possible way. What does that have to do with anything? Because she started to bring up, okay. Or draconians or something. What's she bringing up? Hold on. And they had advanced aircraft. They could have. Well, some of them could have... Okay. Okay, you say Draconians, right? Have advanced aircraft. And could leave the Earth. Where is your evidence of this? Because I have never even heard of that. Because there is no scientific evidence even backing what you're saying. Rocket. Yeah. Basically. What? what the fuck? Huh? What was it made of? What, what in stone? Uh, I've never heard of that. Me neither. It just it just eludes me. Oh my god, Left Derek, I know what territory she's entering. She's entering the Ben Weber territory. There were aliens then. She's entering like Scientology. Aliens, Derek. Aliens. Everything is aliens. Don't you know that? Just so you guys know, I don't really believe while some of the other ones couldn't, and they just ended up dying. You know, like we have this, these in ancient Egypt, there are like artwork of UFOs, and one of the myths was that the gods came from the Orion Belt, or Orion, and came to Earth. And if these so-called deities, which are also the giants in the Bible, are dinosaurs slash fallen angels, and the reason why they're you're still not telling me how you're concluding dinosaurs to be fallen angels. Yeah, that's the one thing you've n not said. Is what? How do you determine from dinosaurs to be fallen angels? Where does that connection go to? Still around today. It's probably because they left the earth to escape the flood. But some of them probably came back afterwards and continued to brainwash everyone. Wait, brainwash? Back to brainwashing again? Like you do in every other one of your videos. Enoch, when it talks about people being brainwashed with astrology and stuff like that.
Brainwashed with astrology. You do realize throughout the history, science was depicted against God and people were punished for it, right? And any time a scientist lost his faith, they did they they just they killed them. Yeah. They lit them on fire in front of people and killed them. Like a lot of scientists have lost faith because the God does not seem to be provable. No, I'm not saying all of them did. For example, Isaac Newton didn't understand how gravity worked. Since he discovered gravity, he didn't understand how it worked. So therefore, he thought it was because of God. But we later figured out what causes gravity. So... And that's due to the mass of the Earth and the Earth spinning. Everything... But, but here's the thing, though. Everything has gravity. I know. Everything has it. Just some more than others. So, yeah. The... The dinosaurs slash dragons more likely got in their aircraft and fleed from the earth so they could escape the flood. And, you know, this is probably why we have dinosaur fossils around. And whether or not they came back, I don't know. That was just a possibility, though. We can find more evidence for aliens here. The UFO. Okay. Go to that image. I want you to go to those images. And tell me. Where do they come from? Oh, shit. I want, she literally points at a picture of a UFO drawing on a, on a, on a tablet. But she doesn't go back through the article to tell if it's real. Okay, is this about Area 51? I want to know. And if I know she believes in Area 51, she dragon. wants to send all the bad animals there. She also wants to take something like horses, for instance, like we were talking about earlier, and put them in Antarctica. Yet she's not for the destruction of ecosystems and doesn't want the animals to die. What's going to happen if you do that? Or if you put a polar bear in the desert? They will not survive. These are actually still on Earth. Like if they came back after escaping the flood. Since the Bible does talk about these fallen angels and giants after the flood. You do understand, right, that the Bible says a lot about shit. The Bible brings a lot of stupid shit up. For example, Nephilim, they bring that up. Which are brought up to be warriors. Flood too, but then perhaps they could be at some forbidden area like area 51 like if you go past it you can get shot by the military or the police okay if you go anywhere near a military base without authorization yes you will get shot there's a reason for that it's called security I'm on a military base if you go in there without permission you're gonna get fucking arrested quickly She brought up a, a statement where she saw as that you will get shot out if you enter this military area. Any military base will do that. Every military base has areas that are like that. We live near one. We are in one. We are in a military base. We, there's certain areas we can't go to. Even you can't go to, and you're in the military. Yeah, I don't have the clearance. I have some clearances. 
But not all the not the highest clearance. I don't have top secret clearances. I have a secret clearance, but not a top secret clearance. And this could be why they don't want us to go there because they don't want us to see the truth. They want us to think that these. Okay, um, let me teach you something about how the military works, okay? The military does have its secrets, but there's a reason for that. It's that way the enemy doesn't see it. But Jerry, she doesn't understand how the military works. She just thinks they just kill people. And apparently killing people is not a big deal. I brought this up to you before when I told her about how you were in the military. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the military, but I haven't killed anyone. And she doesn't seem to understand that, yes, I understand the military does not give us our amendments. That's stupid. You know what I mean? The military doesn't give us our rights. What the military does is protect us from the people who want to take that away. You know what I mean? Yeah. I tried to explain this to her, and she couldn't get it through her thick skull. That's the purpose of our military. Our purpose of our military is, is to defend us. Is to defend our freedom. To defend our rights and to protect us from danger. That is the purpose of our military. And she couldn't understand that. Like, at all. That was all the military is to her is taking things and killing people. That's it. Dinosaurs slash dragons are gone. And perhaps more evidence of them still being on Earth could be from the media, you know, and Pokemon. Oh, you bring up Pokemon again! You bring up Pokemon again! Pokemon, oh my goodness. I even told She pulls up a picture of a Charizard. You know what I told her? A Charizard is supposed to be based off of a lizard. A Char- Oh my goodness. It's not even a dragon type. In Pokemon, Charizard isn't a dragon type. Anyway, Jerry, can I explain to you what I even told her? And then she's just like, no, you're wrong, and stuff like that. I'm like, Pokemon means pocket monsters. Monsters, monsters do not exist. You don't see someone walking a vampire on a leash or a werewolf. Although that'd be really cool. <laughs> And I tried to explain that to her. I'm like, not real. Dinosaurs slash dragons. And if these fallen angels are still here and they're working behind the scenes, they could be using the media to send out subliminal messages. Oh my god, you're the big, one of the most stupidest conspiracy theorists I've ever these seen. Dinosaurs, they even have their own... They even have their own movies. You're putting up Land Before Time? How dare you? <laughs> you do understand the ter uh, what the concept of Land Before Time is, right? It's a sad movie. First movie, very sad. Littlefoot loses his mom. And he makes friends. Okay, I'm about to hear this. She brings it up. She hasn't said anything about Land Before Time. She just says that they have their own movies. That dinosaurs have their own movies. And I think... There's, see, there's a the dragon right the there. Time is. Wait, you say that's a dragon? That's not a dragon! That's a... Is that a type of raptor? It's a rap... No, it's a, it's one of those flying ones. Yeah, I forget what they're called. Pterodactyls! They're, it's a pterodactyl! They're birds of prey. Oh yeah, by the way, your precious chickens are related to that dinosaur, by the way. Just no, 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 they're related to the T-Rex. No, they're related to that one, I think. No, T-Rex. One of them's related to that one. Right there. So they're even saying here that these dragons 
are dinosaurs. They're not dragons! My god! And, well, I don't know if that is, that might, wait, that might not be, I don't know. Oh, that might not be! That might not be, huh? That does look like it could be, like, a baby dragon or something. Oh my god. Anyway. It's not a dragon. There is no such thing as dragons. If dinosaurs, if they are fallen angels, again, I'm not saying this is 100% sure. I just think it makes more sense than the possibility of them being animals. But let's say if they are fallen angels, <sighs> they could also be brainwashing children. Where is your connection that dinosaurs are fucking fallen angels? You have fucking so brushed over know. that the entire video. Derek, you know what oh. I realized? Dinosaurs are apparently dragons and they're fallen angels. I don't understand. Uh, and she also made something about aliens involved in it. Oh, so yeah, they're aliens, apparently. They're all three. Oh, God. It's giving me a headache. This video's giving me a headache. Through movies. I know they have tons of dinosaur movies. Of course they had tons of dinosaur movies because dinosaurs are a topic people like. There are movies about aliens. There are movies about serial killers. There's movies about food. Documentaries. There are movies about almost anything. There's movies just about day-to-day -day life. There's movies on categories about things people like. Again, there's a movie about literally anything. Example of the brainwashing in my comments section. I have these people who are obsessed with dinosaurs. They have dinosaurs as their. You want to know why they wanted you to ex expose dinosaurs? Because they wanted to hear your stupidity. They weren't being serious. They were trolling you, just like how we were trolling you in the comments that one time. Which she still thinks we were being legit about that. <sighs> Oh, and I like how she only brought me up when that whole situation was apparent, but she barely brought up you. She didn't even bother to bring up White Wolf or White Fox because they were doing it too. Yeah. No. Profile picture. They pretend to be dinosaurs online. They're not pretending to be dinosaurs. They just like dinosaurs, and that's what they put as oh, their photo. Don't you Oh, God, she's a moron. That means you want to be one of my drawings, or you want to be yourself and fuck yourself. I do have three personalities. <laughs> yeah, that also means I want to be a painting. And to bang a painting, apparently. Using her logic. And using her logic, she wants to bang whiteboard. And wants to be a whiteboard. God, she is a moron. She, 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 she's being stupid. Scrolling through the comments so we don't see the ones that are giving you hate. Hey, Dana, I see you in the video. Hey, CJ, I see you in the video. Another one. See, I get all these people pretending to be dinosaurs. You don't even read the fucking comment, do you? It says be gone, thought. The comment that she's actually looking on says be gone, thought. What, what does she mean? She's pointing at it saying that because it's a dinosaur, they're pretending to be a dinosaur. They're not pretending to be a dinosaur. Does she think, is she like the other dog hater who thinks come means coming towards someone and not 
ejaculation. Does she think thought means like a thought you make with your brain? I don't know. She hasn't said anything about it. And, and their obsession further shows that they're being misled by the forces of darkness. Forces of darkness. My God. Uh, this reminds me of the time I wanted to make a fake satanic worship video just to be hilarious. And it was supposed to be directed towards her and Ben Weber, if you remember correctly. Yeah, that was going to be funny if I was going to do that. But we don't have the materials to do that. We don't even have robes for that kind of thing. I mean, I have my old Halloween costume. It just may not fit the baby bump. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could wear it, probably. <laughs> Watch, that someone's gonna request that. Watch. <laughs> but again, this is just a theory. I think it makes the most sense, though, because of all the evidence. What evidence? I'm shouting in my mic here. I'm sorry for all your guys' ears right now. And that's it. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's it. You know what? No, no, no. This woman gave me a fucking angerism. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this very odd video. I'll catch you guys later. Stay nerdy, my friends. Bye-bye.